Although virtually every arm curl ends up being called a biceps curl, there are so many things working inside here. So we're just going to call them arm curls. And the first version we're going to show you in the standing position, oh, by the way, to get in the standing position, you had to not only adjust the pulleys to the width you chose or you wanted, which is probably not the widest, somewhere in between there, but you also had to bend down and pick up the handles. And remember, every time you bend down to get in position, you to grab the weight, make sure you're taking care of how you pick this thing up. Now, next, I'll show you the first one. She's just going to keep her palm facing the front the whole time, facing forward. And the thing she's going to really, really watch here is that her upper arm doesn't move. Now, she's, she's chosen a position that I think is great, where her arm is not exactly straight up and down with the world. It's slightly angled forward. She could do it with her arm straight up and down and keep it there. Or this is great, too, where it's actually very slightly angled forward. But the thing that's awesome is how she's keeping it there the whole time. So you need to watch that. Make sure that you can hold your upper arm wherever you start is where it stays. And she's also not bending her whole body around, trying to really tug on the weight with every other muscle in her whole body from head to toe. So watch that as well. Make sure you choose your weight appropriately and understand the, the concept of control. Now we can make a nice little change here by going to a hammer position where you simply slide the little the handle on the webbing and now she's leading the way with the top part or thumb part of her hand and we've changed the contribution of the elbow flexors although, although they're all still working. Same goal of keeping her upper arm stable. And a final version where it's called a reverse curl and she's more in a pronated grip. You may have heard that term before, but the palm is facing the ground. And that's the main thing there. And she's trying her best to keep her wrist for it pretty straight. And she's keeping her upper arm stable once again. So all of those are wonderful variations. You may actually find that you have to change the weight or the, the power rods between those different exercises. Because if we were really using a super challenging load for her on the first one, we might not be that strong on some of these other variations. So pay close attention to that.